Hey, good morning. Uh, so there's a really neat feature that I wanted to show you, and I want to show you why you might want to use it uh, in MathCAD, and that is the Include Worksheet. And so what this is going to allow us to do, uh, if you're familiar with Excel and putting in custom functions into Excel, is, is we're able to have like a master worksheet where we have a bunch of programmed functions uh, and they can be as complex as they need to be. Uh, and, and we can have that isolated and we can just include it in our worksheet. Now, it's a lot easier to do. You don't need any special skills in, in Visual Basic or anything else uh, to, to build that up. All you need is to know how to do MathCAD and then include it in your worksheet. And so I've already got a worksheet uh, on time value of money factors that have all of the equations for the various factors built in. And so when I go to solve this problem, you know, I could go to that uh, sheet, I could open it up, I could copy it, paste it. You know, if I ever wanted to update something later on, I've got it spread out over a bunch of sheets. But if I keep it in that one master sheet, I have one place to manage it. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to include it here. And so the include function is up here on the input output tab and it just include worksheet. And so we're going to uh, choose it. It puts in this box. Now, when I press on the include button, it's going to take me into a, a dialog box where I select the file that I want to include. And so I'm going to go up here and I have a spot just for utilities, MathCAD utilities, and I'm going to choose time value of money factors. And so you see it puts the path in here. Now, I, I have had difficulties if that path was too long uh, at not finding the sheet. Not sure that was the reason, but it seemed to make sense. And moving it to closer to the root directory, I was able to, to get it to, to work. You'll notice this uh, asterisk in green over here. That's telling you it's found it and it's working. And of course, there's a number of ways that you can test it. So now I'm ready to solve this problem. Let's see if it works. So I've got the various factors. Now I've already got everything defined here. I've got my variables defined. So really, I just need to do the calculation itself. So the present value, uh, so let's take care of the annuity first. Let's go the annuity and multiply by its factor. Of course, you do need to know uh, the functions that you have in your included worksheet. And this is P given A. And of course, it's a function of the interest and the duration of the annuity and close brackets. And now let's take care of that gradient. So let me see, it's uh, the gradient multiplied by its factor. Sorry, uh, P given G, function of the interest and its duration. And of course that only brings it back to year two. So we then have to bring it back to the present day. So we multiply that again by the pre future value factor. And if I've got that all right, I hit the equal sign and we come up with a value. It doesn't make a lot of sense in that format. So we just go quickly up to math formatting, uh, choose decimal and dollars and cents. We can give it there. And so now you can see that we're able to take all of those functions and bring them forward and use them uh, without having to, to copy them all over again or to manage them in multiple different locations. And I do like the fact that it gives you the um, a path to it. So if you <laughs> forget where you've got it or whatever, you can see exactly where the path is of the sheet that you're incorporating into these calculations. So hopefully that's useful to you. Again, simple way of doing custom functions in a utility sheet of those uh, uh, that, you, that, that you can call upon whenever you need it. So thanks. Have a great day.